I've been using ThinkPad T440P for a while now. I have several of those systems. What I like about T440P is it's very upgradable. It's fairly easy to change battery, keyboard. I change screens as well. But also on those ones you can change uh, CPU, upgrade RAM, storage, and you can even convert the CD, DVD, RAM into an additional hard drive. But this system is pretty old and design is a bit thick, which doesn't bother me really, but I wanted to try something new. So I purchased ThinkPad T470S, which is about three years newer than this one. The main reason I got this one is it has two really cool features, which are USB-C and internal NVMe drive. As far as price goes, T440P on eBay I was able to get for about 30-40 bucks, the standard versions. This one I was able to find for $70. Planning on making a system where it'll be fairly quickly to search through a database, through internal hard drive. So that's why I decided to get this one. Like I say, it has NVMe, PCIe, I believe it's generation 3 drive and I'll be able to upgrade the RAM as well. It comes with eight, this particular laptop comes with 8 GB RAM and I'll be able to add 16 GB more. And I believe if you want to build a system where you just have to quickly navigate through a database, you don't really need a very fast processor, priority is fast hard drive and a good amount of RAM. Anyway, in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade the RAM and install NVMe SSD 4 terabyte drive. I have no idea if it's all gonna work because when this laptop was made there were no 4 terabyte drives but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. We'll see. I'm gonna start by removing 4 Phillips head screws. Actually not removing them but loosen them. And there are two internal batteries and correct way is to go into BIOS and shut down the battery. That way you're not gonna have any issues when you're working with this internal hardware. But this laptop appears to be completely dead, so I'll ignore that step. But to be safe you should probably plug it in and then do the internal battery shutdown. After that, take something like this, flat, sharp. Nice start where the screen and keyboard connect that side, I think it's easier. And you have to pry this part out. Actually, there is one more screw right here. And it's out, pretty easy. So I thought that it came with 8 gigabyte one soldered RAM stick, but looks like there are two, probably four and four. Can't see from here how many this one is, but it does seem to be the original RAM stick. Anyway, if it didn't come with 8 gig soldered, You'll have 4 gig and then I'll add 16, so it'll be total 20. If it's 8 internal, then I'll have 24. So to add RAM, it's pretty simple. Insert and push. Now let's work on NVMe. Start by removing this screw. And same thing, we'll just insert it. And secure that same screw back. Now close the cover. And secure those five screws.
plugged in power supply. Let's see. So it looks like it does recognize 4 terabyte drive. So it looks like I had 4 gigabytes soldered internal memory RAM and then that stick was 4 gigabytes. So once that I removed it, I installed 16 gig, I have total 20 gig RAM. And storage shows right here 3815 gigabyte, which is 4 terabyte. So it looks like this laptop does support 4 terabyte storage and you can get 20 gigabyte ram i think i'm gonna install linux and like i say i'll probably use this laptop just for database where i have to quickly find some data i think t470s with nvme capability and usb-c where you can connect external hard drive to quickly search for data i think it's very good option for a very cheap price on eBay, you should be able to find one for $100 or so. Okay, just to show you, I was able to install Ubuntu Linux. And as you can see here, hopefully you can see, I got 20 gigabyte memory RAM and 4 terabytes of storage. If you have any questions let me know i'll try to respond as soon as i can i'll put affiliate amazon links for the memory ram i got and also for the four terabyte nvme ssd drive thanks for watching see you next time